Dozens of people stood in the streets of downtown Lexington tonight and watched history in the making. In a surprise move, crews took down the two controversial Confederate statues from Cheapside Park, what was once the site of one of the largest slave markets in the South. Catherine Gardner is live downtown with the LEX 18 Big Story at 11. Kevin, Nancy, no one was expecting for this to happen tonight because the city of Lexington was originally waiting for the Kentucky Military Heritage Commission to give the okay first. And that group won't meet until later this year. But earlier this morning, the state attorney general ruled that the city of Lexington doesn't need the commission's approval to move the statues. Hence, seem Mayor Gray's office doing what they're doing, removing the two Confederate statues right here, right now. After months of discussion and a council vote, the John C. Breckenridge statue was taken down around 6.30 to 9.30 tonight. The John Hunt Morgan statue is currently coming down now, all as dozens of people gathered to watch. Mayor Jim Gray's office tells us that the two Confederate statues will be taken to a private storage facility, while final details are worked out to relocate them to the Lexington Cemetery. As the news quickly spreads, the Take Back Cheapside Coalition founders say years of hard work paid off tonight. Man, I wish I could be, I could be like I, I had things better prepared, but I, I, don't, I don't have any words. I mean, this is what we have worked for, but not only is it just something that we have worked for, it's something that we can prove to the city and to the rest of the people in this community that if you get together we, and, and stand together, you can make change. And that's really what this is about. And it's, we're, we're speaking for those who were unable to speak 130 years ago. And I, my, my, my soul is just, it, it just, it, there's, I'm just filled with so much pride. Now, Mayor Gray's office told us that the statue removal process has been paid for largely by private donations and private funds. Covering the news in Lexington from, live from the LEX 18 mobile newsroom, back to you guys.